and good morning. What is the key to unlock the hidden message of the parables of Jesus? Kung saan man ito pag sabot ang mga sambingay ni Ginoong Kristo, the key to become a follower of Jesus. Aron nga masabta na ito ang mga sambingay ni Ginoong Kristo, kinahanglan nga mahimu taniya nga sumusunod. We should be like the disciples. Many of us do not decipher the hidden messages of the parables because for the very reason that we do not follow. Dilit na to masabtan ang iyang mga sambingay kung dilit ta magdesisyon nga musunod kang Kristo. Because in following only or on following of Jesus, we can only understand these things. For example, our every Sunday Holy Mass obligation, we all know that it's a must for all of us to go to church every Sunday so that we could be with Jesus and receive Him personally through the sacrament of the Eucharist. But the question is, do we always make ourselves available every Sunday? Do we give time to God attending Mass on Sundays? Sundays are supposed to be the Lord's Day, but do we make it sacred by going to the Mass? Example lang ang Domingo. Do we really you know, attend every Sunday our, the Mass? Because we know that it's Lord's Day during Sunday. It's not your day. It's not a family day. It's not your day off. It's not a holiday. But it's a Lord's Day. Okay? And supposedly, we Christians should, you know, attend Mass every Sunday because we understand these things. Okay? The moment we decide to find time for Jesus, we would, we would also feel that our minds are slowly being opened to the many truths about Jesus and our faith. Sa diha nga magdesider ta nga mo sunod ta kang Ginoong Kristo, ang ato pong panghunahuna mabato sab og atong hinahinay nga masabtan ang mga kamatuoran bahin kang Ginoong Kristo. Our mind will also be open to fully understand the hidden messages of the parables. O kalakip ni Ana, ato sa nga masabtan ang mga sambingay nga gisulti giniginong Iso Kristo alang kanatong tanan. Mauna nga, only a follower, of only a true follower of Jesus would be able to know who Jesus is. Diba? Kanang naatay, nahilan nga tao, kanang suod na nato. Kabalo na ta, kaila ta sa iya ha, bisan pag mupiyong ta. Mga kabalo na ta kung unsa iyang binaklayan, kung unsa iyang mga kanang body, body gestures, the way siya mo tanaw, the way siya nga mo lihok, makabalo ka kung nasuko siya, nalipay siya, nagmahay-mahay ba siya o nabalaka ba siya. Okay? Labi na sa mga banag asawa, ano? nasayo ta kung unsa ang, unsa ang mga traits sa matag-usa. Okay? Kaya kung wak ka na sayod, kung unsa ang trait sa imuhang bana o sa imuhang asawa, dili questionable kay inyuhang kami nyoon. Nga naman nga nagminyo day mo, nga day mo kaila sa usag-usa. Diba? Mauna nga kinahanglan nga importante gid nga makaila kita. Thus, we would not only grow in knowledge about Jesus, we would also deepen our personal relationship with Him. Dili lang nga, may, nga madugangan ang atong kahibalo, may tungod kang ginong su Kristo. Apan in following Jesus, okay, mulao po ang atong relasyon kaniya. Let us endeavor, therefore, to always ask Jesus to increase our faith and do our part as well by following Him and His church. Ato ng pangayon sa ginoo nga mo 
nga motubo pata diha sa pagtuo aron nga ato gid siyang masunod ug ang iyang iglesia that we would see for ourselves the many graces that would be showered upon us including the grace of understanding the hidden messages of the parables of Jesus Jesus told his disciples you are blessed because you are able to see what others cannot see and you are able to understand what only others can only hear. Igna ni Cristo ang mga disipulo ni Ana. You're so blessed nangod kay nakita mo. Okay? Sa mga butang nga gipangandoy sa uban, nga igo lang nila makita pero dili kasabot. Okay? And nakasabot mo sa mga butang nga Para sa uban, ego lang nila nadungog. Kita, we are, we are still blessed. We are so blessed because God has given us everything. Okay? Yat, no ang tanan. But we refuse to see and to listen. In fact, dool-dool na tagamay sa muraog ka ng gispoon feed na ta. Gihatag na sa ginaw tanan. Gibayang na tanan. Okay? But we refuse, but some of us refuse to see these things. Some of us refuse to understand these things. Mauna nga usahay, in our, in our relationship with God, in our walk with God, we are still confused. Nalibo gya punta. Okay? Because, naana diha. Okay? But we do not do our part. Mauna nga, let us ask God to increase our faith. Nga, ato ning masabtan nga mga butang. In the previous, you know, in the previous Sundays, the parable of the sower, you know, was explained. And we're so fortunate that Jesus himself gave the explanation on that parable. He was talking about that he was talking about our heart okay the seed is the word of god and then nadungog na to what's next do we still refuse do we still refuse to check our hearts kung unsa ba ning klase nga yuta do we still deny that the word of god is in us or that the word of god has been snatched away by the devil because our heart or the soil is not prepared for the seed? That's the challenge of our everyday life. We always receive God. We always receive His revelations through the homilies, through the reflections, through the leaders of the church, and above all, through the sacraments. But what are we going to do with this? Unsa may atong buhaton ani? Or unsay atong gihimo ani? What did we do about this? Every day we receive the body and blood of Christ, but until now, most of us do not believe that it's the real presence of Jesus Christ. What are we going to do with that? Unsa may atong buhaton ana? But we are but again, in our responsorial psalm you know, the prophet Daniel was talking about giving praise to God. Praise to you until all the ages. Again, we praise God. Praise to you, o Lord. But when it pagabot sa sacramento, we have a hard time believing that it is the real presence of Christ. Why? Because we only listen. We do not understand. We only look with our eyes, but we do not see with our eyes. Igo lang ta nilantaw. Oh, chalis. Huh? Chalis, ustia. Pero wala gita nakakita. Kay kung, naki, kay kung nasabtan o nakita lang gid nato nga mao gini ang tinod ng presensya sa Diyos, sigurado gid ko, puno kayo ang simbahan kada domingo. Maglinya Perme, okay? Magkaguliya ang tao tungod 
kay gusto o excited ka ayo nga mo partake sa lawas og dugo. O kung nasabtan lang gid nato pod kung sa ka importante ang Domingo nga Lord's Day, sigurado gid ko walay mo abang biski isa nato. Dili masuko ta sa kalingon pa kung di ta ka mataog sa iyo or kung nalita pag sa simba or kung wa ta nakasimba. Kaya ano man, because we begin to understand these things, not just the parables of Jesus. That's why, in order to unlock the hidden messages of the kingdom of God, okay, or the secrets of the kingdom, God has already revealed it to us. But our part is to be able to see and understand those things. Aron nga malawang pagi ng atong relasyon sa Gino. Amen batana. Please stand.